Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we now gather as a community in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist as one family of Jesus following the will of our Heavenly Father. And so in this Eucharist, let us listen to God's Word and in receiving God's body, we are made aware of God's will for all of us. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the children of Israel marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to the right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit, all perils, horses, and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic. And he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel, because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head-on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army that had followed the children of Israel into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped, but the children of Israel had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea with the water like a wall on the right and to the left. Thus, the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord has shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in Him and His servant Moses. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord, I will sing to the Lord, for He is gloriously triumphant, horse and the chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. At the breath of your anger, the waters piled up. The flowing waters stood like a mound. The flood waters congealed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall despoil them. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. When your wind blew, the sea covered them. Like lead, they sunk in the mighty waters. When you stretch out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. And you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Please stand. Hallelujah, we kind more, oh 
nakikinig ako sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> Our Lord Jesus Christ makes clear to us today that to be close to Him is found in following the will of our Heavenly Father. To be able to say that I am close to Jesus, To be able to say that I have a relationship with Jesus, to be able to say that I am a follower of Jesus, then I know how to fulfill and do the will of our Heavenly Father. And so for Jesus, it is very important that we are able to hear To listen, to discern the will of our Heavenly Father. Para tayo ay matawag na malapit kay Jesus, tagasunod ni Jesus, kinakailangang marunong tayong tumugon at sumunod sa kalooban ng Ama. And in our first reading today, From the book of Exodus, we are continuing our reflection on the book of Exodus. We see the great story of the people of Israel passing through the Red Sea. The great passing over of the people of Israel from Egypt, from the slavery in Egypt to salvation in the promised land. How were they saved by God? Paano sila iniligtas ng Diyos? The people of Israel was saved because they followed the will of God. Sinabi sa kanila ng Diyos, umalis kayo sa Egypto Dalhin ninyo ang lahat ng mga gamit ninyo at dadalhin ko kayo sa kaligtasan. They were saved because they followed the call of God to leave everything behind in Egypt so that they could cross through the sea and be brought to salvation. They were saved because they followed the will of God. Mga minamahal na kapatid, marami sa kanila ayaw sumunod kay Moises sa umpisa. And even when they already crossed the Red Sea, 
we will see in the next days that people were still complaining. Sana pala hindi na kami umalis sa Egypto. Sana pala hindi na namin iniwan. Bakit kami susunod sa Diyos kung iiwan namin ang komportable naming buhay sa Egypto? May masarap na pagkain, may tirahan. Why should we pick up all our things and follow Moses and cross the sea? But you will be saved, my dear brothers and sisters, only when we we are able to follow the will of the Heavenly Father. My dear brothers and sisters, maybe God is trying to save you. But the problem is, our ears are closed. Our hearts are closed. We are not anymore praying. We are not anymore reading the Bible. We are not anymore listening to the Lord. That is why God cannot save us because we are not anymore following God's will. My dear brothers and sisters, Moses and the people of Israel were saved because they followed God's command. Marahil ay iniligtas ka ng Diyos, nais kang iligtas ng Diyos sa iyong sitwasyon, pero kinakailangang magtiwala ka sa Kanya. Sundin mo ang Kanyang kalooban. Ang ibig sabihin man yan ay para kang tatawid sa gitna ng dagat, sa takot sa pangamba. Pero yan ang sabi ng Diyos. Sundid mo ang aking kalooban at ikaw ay maliligtas. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Eucharist and in every celebration of the Eucharist, you will notice that we always first read the Bible, the Holy Scriptures. We have our first reading, We read from the rest the Psalms, our responsorial psalm. We read from the Gospel, and the priest explains the readings. This tells us that the saving action of Jesus is not just on the table of the Eucharist. The saving action of Jesus is not only limited on the cross. The saving action of Jesus begins... Whenever we listen to Jesus preaching the Word of God. Because when we are able to listen to the Word of God, we are able to discern the will of God for us. And our readings tell us today that when we are able to listen to God's Word, we are also able to know God's will and follow God's will in our lives. Mahalaga po ang unang bahagi ng misa. We have listened to God's word. I pray that as we continue this Eucharist, we are able to discern the will of God for us today as we have reflected in God's word. And we are sure that when we follow God's will, God will save us. Amen. Please stand. Gathered together as a community, let us ask God, our Father, for our deeds. For every petition, let us say, Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us. That the church may become a true family, faithful to the will of the Father, 
and to the teachings of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us. That government leaders may not enaclose or initiate programs contrary to our faith and morals. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us. That families may become true brothers and sisters by their love for one another as willed by Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us. That we may show concern for those suffering in any form that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us. That the faithful departed may come to their everlasting home. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us. Loving Father, help us to become your faithful children who are obedient to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law. Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pitag palang nilikha, ipinaglihwa 
ng sala. Pusong dalis ay dakila. Maria, ina ng awan. 